Hi folks and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed the previous episodes. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about pricing and this is pricing for both established artists and newcomers because I think there's a bit of information here for established artists, at least a thought pattern, a mindset that I'd like to pass by you. But first of all, there is no secret to pricing. It's not like some magical number where if somebody just told you what your price of your artwork is like, there's a lot of factors that build in to make up your price. First of all, how established are you? It's the same as a director of a film. If you get a really, really well-known director of a movie, he's gonna cost you millions. If it's a starter, as a person who's just started out in directing movies, they're going to be quite cheap to, to uh, employ. How much do you need to earn from your art? Is it part, a subsidy part of your day-to-day -day living or is it all of your living? Um, how fast do you paint? All of these factors make up the price and it's a very much a suck it at sea if you've just started to see how much how quickly your painting sell at a certain belt and if they're pouring out the door then you probably need to put your prices up if they are not going so well then you might have to bring them down slightly to sort of feel your marketplace but there are one thing that is universal in this and this is a really important factor is working with a partner now if you work with someone an, an obvious example is a gallery. That gallery has intrinsic costs to be able to run its shop, run its staff, lighting, heating, insurance, everything else. And what usually happens, and this isn't a secret to the art industry, this is pretty much across any sort of store. If you have the price, and you'll see this if you watch Dragon's Den, if you have a price of a product, that's the price of you to make it and to make your profit out of it. So that's what you want as a painter to be able to produce that product. Now what you need to do is you've got a marketing budget and this is the extra price that you have to put on top that you give to somebody who's going to market it for you. For example, if you sell a, a, a product to Tesco's, they're going to want at least a 50% markup to be able to put on top. So if it costs a pound to produce, that means it's going to be two pounds in the shop. So this is a mindset thing, especially with established artists, where established artists feel that this is the price of their artwork and they're giving away half of it to somebody who's going to market it for them. Um, it's a real different way of thinking, what I'm proposing here, is that you're not giving away anything. You are literally allowing that budget part of it to be given to someone else to do because you don't want to do it. Conversely, if you decide that you want to market your own work and you want to spend time on websites and IT guys to help you update stuff and you want to spend money on uh, Instagram marketing and Facebook marketing and things like that and Google, that has a cost to it. You can't say this is the price of my painting and then all of that I'm doing for free. So even if you do it yourself, that is a separate job and you must budget for that in your artwork. So produce your artwork, make your profit and everything else from X sum X, and then the sale price will be sum XX, so double that. And that enables you to do things yourself and make the money that you make from that and also work with a partner. So there's no shocks that when you come to work with a partner and you suddenly have got to give, literally got to give half of your work away, leaving you with almost nothing. So always think about that when you're, when you're working on the pricing of your artwork. Anyway, this was a short insight into pricing. I hope that helps. Uh, plenty more tips and tricks inside my book, The Artist's Handbook, which you can get on Amazon, uh, also on our website. And um, if you've got any questions yourself, uh, feel free to ping me uh, an email over, mark at the and um, I'll try and answer them here for you. I hope that helps. Have a great day.